Hi, I'm Sheldon Ramdani, originally from the Central Spokes Rogue section. <laughs> My name is Gabriella Samuel. Hi, Natalie Gold, and I have a team Jumbies. I'm with Team Jumbies. My name is Lawrence Lafo. Hi, my name is Wendy and Thomas. I'm um, actually this is the first time I'm um, coming up on this ride. Um, I've heard how challenging it is, and I was really interested to try it out and see what it is about. Well, I am John Villa, and so far the ride been good, but I kind of give out a foot give out, and my when I reach in a little way when we start the incline. But it was good, it was good and well, I hope to continue and finish off more as we go along the way, make it to the destination and head back home. My name is Richard Arundel, I'm with Jumbies, been riding with them for about 10 years. Well, I've been riding um, for a few years now. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. The ride today um, has been excellent so far. We had some nice rolling hills coming through the back here, and we're, I think we're enjoying it so far. I've been taking part in Central Spokes rides um, over the past few years. They are always well organized, and I thoroughly enjoy it every time. Really like to ride with Central Spokes. Um, they're really well organized. You reach a rest stop, everything is out waiting for you. It really is a pleasure. Everyone here, is, we're all like-minded, so it's all, everybody's talking about the ride and encouraging you on the way, and so it really is a, um, a pleasure to come out, and we really look forward to the Central Stokes ride. First of all, lovely weather. It was brilliant coming up the hill because you have this nice cool breeze coming up the hill. Constant cool breeze, huh? so the weather was perfect for this type of ride. I start the age of cycling at 17, it's 47 years now I am. I ride for many clubs throughout Trinidad and Tobago. And finally I with Sonic there. Today ride it is most challenging and it's always a challenge to my, my career. This area always a, a challenge. I am 73 years old and I tend to end up being the oldest man on any group that I ride with. Um, I just came back from a ride in Corsica and a ride in the Pyrenees to try and train up for this ride. Because this ride, the hill coming up here, that was a hill, a serious hill. Jumbies just likes to like to get into anything, any sport that we could participate in, we will do. It's um, we, we just like to exercise, and uh, the, the, the jumbies sort of push you to do it. I think the stops are well timed. Um, we always have watermelon, um, fruits, snacks, drinks. Um, it never runs out, and I, I always, always enjoy it. Money's worth each time. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Shout out to the persons who set it up properly. They did a, they did a good job. They did a good job. You know, plenty of people say Trinidad game bad and all kind of thing. When, when, these people are such nice folks. Beautiful souls, man. Beautiful souls. Whenever you get together, it's like a family. It's always like a family. And if you notice, the motto is leave no one behind. We leave no one behind. Everybody, make sure everybody have fun on the rides. It's always a, a, a laughter within the group. You know what I mean? Always good spirit.
um, they're really well organized. You reach a rest stop, everything is out waiting for you. It really is a pleasure. Everyone here, is, they're all like-minded, so it's all, everybody's talking about the ride and encouraging you on the way. And so it really is a, um, a pleasure to come out and we really look forward to the Central Schools ride. Really needed to see a lot more women in it. Um, unfortunately, we have like a handful of us who um, race competitively. Um, I know the, it's a quite uh, aggressive form of cycling. I just train hard, so wherever, wherever I fall in between that, I mean, it, it's fun and I, I use it as a benchmark and, and a motivation. So I see them ahead and that's my, I try to go and catch them. You know, I hope for the younger generation, um, you know, they come out and like, people like me, you know, I enjoy Natia and this is a perfect way to marry Natia and um, get in my fitness level up, you know, with my health. Jumbies just likes to like to get into anything, any sport that we could participate in, we will do. It's um, we, we just like to exercise, and uh, the, the, the jumbies sort of push you to do it. One Wednesday every month, I go to a lunch with a bunch of old guys, people my age and older, and I am the only one that has any level of fitness. The rest of them suffering from diabetes, heart attacks, they all, they all have stents in their bodies, all sorts of illnesses. Hi. Uh, My name is Aaron Dorridge from the Southland of Trinidad and Tobago, Tabakit. I came and joined with Cannondale and it was a very interesting ride today. Some, the hills was a bit challenging. The road was a little rough, it was a kind of mountain bike ride, but it was a great experience coming on this ride. Today. Uh, one year, I've been into cycling at a professional level. I was part of the Trader and Tobago national competition for this year. I uh, raced with Raiders, Club Raiders before, and placed first in the 40 plus crit. Very good day. Uh, here we are at Las Cuevas Beach. We Right now, finish a fantastic ride. My name is Juan Andrade. I am a director at Flying Tree Environmental Management. And as you can see here, uh, Flying Tree Environmental Management uh, actually was invited to take play, take, uh, participate in the ride with Central Spokes. A fantastic organization, fantastic ride. We actually uh, Take, uh, took part in a few of the rides has been a fantastic experience uh, it's good to note the organization has been so pristine so impeccable uh, the safety and also the different levels of the ride that accommodate different riders we have uh, I see very small kids as well as I see very old guys and the girls the girls are fantastic these girls can go forever, can go on and on and on, and they're promoting health. They're promoting a different lifestyle. Uh, they're promoting unity. They're promoting fellowship. They are promoting a sport as a platform to unite all the different people of our country. Um, now, of course, we did nothing less plus more than beg uh, to have part, to be able to take part other than participate in the ride as a rider, to take part and try to do even a better organization by uh, letting Flying Tree Environmental Management actually uh, be the green part of this organization. Every single discarded item that is uh, produced with the ride is going to be collected at the end of the ride. Well, during the ride, uh, our catering, guy, catering guys are going to have separated bags to put organics, plastics, paper, etc. In the end of the ride, a flying tree in the vehicles uh, are going to take care of that. It's like a chain of custody. And we're going to take that to our facility where it's going to be processed, like cheap, washed, clean, sorted, and then mixed into uh, as a light concrete aggregate and in introduced to all the products we actually um, make and Central Spokes actually is going to have the, the opportunity 
to decide uh, get into contact with a school that actually needs these items and then we will donate it in behalf of Central Sports. I feel safe, I feel secure and I trust that the guys from Central Sports will take care of me. So my name is Avinash Chanaika and I am the Vice President of the Central Stroke Cycle Club and today we just witnessed the completion of the North Coast Challenge Ride which we had over 60 participants um, who enjoyed the scenic route across the North Coast from Arima straight down to Las Cuevas and here we are at the Las Cuevas Beach Resort very beautiful facility and this the ride the aim of the ride today was to raise awareness once again raise awareness for cycling um, and to test some of the riders some of our riders you know make sure that keep them on a good training path to test all of that preparation that they would have done for the past month or so and I think everyone had a very a wonderful time it was well received um, the riders were very disciplined um, we had good support the vehicles the general public was really appreciative and at the end of the day that is what the goal of the club one of the goals is to do is to raise the awareness for the public um, and let the appreciation for cyclists in general be raised to a higher level and as we do that the entire country will move forward whether you are a beginner entry-level rider intermediate uh, pro elite even masters our oldest member in the, in the club is 75 years our youngest we have some young kids who are 10 12 you know so we had a, a lot is is about bringing together and raising the awareness of cycling in a general sense today we had we had a lot of we had over 10 ladies riding on this challenge and I could tell you they were in front of many of the men and they were they had re done extremely well on this challenge and, um, we'd like to thank our sponsor for the medal uh, Ram Prim Enterprises who um, he gave us sponsored the medal for the first 40 entrants registered because uh, people would realize that the, e the most difficult part of this ride was the registration we had over 40 people registered in this last week so people who were registered early took that first step we want to congratulate them and actually making the complete ride is a wonderful experience we'd like to invite each and everyone to be part of the central spokes family um, you know come we, we, we always welcome everybody we looking for ideas for our next ride but we're looking forward so be part of the central spokes cycle club um, get your voice have your say and who knows we'll probably host a ride that you're interested in so for this past year in particular we had two of our signature rides um, in March we had the Icacus C3 to Icacus ride which started at C3 in San Fernando and ended at the shore in Icacus um, that ride was a charity ride and we helped a young guy Zain Sukram six-year-old boy um, with medical expenses who had heart complications as well as brain complications our other signature ride our coast to coast ride um, we that is another charity event we started at the Waterloo Temple in the Sea in Waterloo and we finished at the Coconut Cove Resort in Manzalena that ride was to assist young Courtney Ferdinand who has um, sickle cell disease and requires an operation abroad um, during the year the on a weekly basis the club hosts a nightly ride um, every Friday night um, and during the week there's a road ride on a Wednesday the Friday night is to enjoy by everyone we encourage everybody to come out different levels and enjoy the cool ambient atmosphere uh, for a ride trail and off-road Darren Tiwari, Narendra Tiwari, Catherine Bain, Collins Bain, Kirk Van Vick, Leo, Leo didn't make it, he is. Shoes fell out. Leo, which one did Leo? <laughs>
Dave, my Dave. John, I'm here. Thank you. Oh, let me go. Anal Gadding. Leo. Richard. Arundel. Fellas, just, just do this one. Sure, you all grab together and just do this one. Down. Kuran Narayan. This video, eh? Kuran. <laughs> What? <laughs> Andre, <laughs> Nicholas Stanley, Niraj <laughs> Marat, Jonathan Chara, <laughs> William <laughs> Henry. <laughs> 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 okay, so is riding his life. <laughs> Well, we are on all platforms, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, just look us up, Central Spoke Cycle Club. Um, you can also contact any one of the members of the executive of the club. Um, and you can have all the information on the, web, on the Facebook page. Oh, 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 oh,